I hope you understand. Uh, I do have a document in front of me that I will refer to uh, that will detail what has happened. え、まず初めに、え、僕自身は、え、何かにかけたりとか、え、誰かに代わって、え、そのスポーツイベントにかけたりとか、え、それをまた頼んだり、え、ということはないですし、え、ま、僕の口座から僕メーカーに対して、え
So during the team meeting, obviously, Ipe was speaking in English, and I didn't have a translator on my side. But, with, but even with that, I kind of understood what was going on and started to feel um, that there was something uh, amiss. And at that time, he was talking to me about the hotel and 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 その時はホテルまで待つことにしてました。Just prior to the meeting, I was told by Ipe, hey, let's talk one to one in the hotel after the meeting. So I waited until then. で、僕は一平さんがその時にギャンブル、あのミーティングの時にギャンブルの依存症だっていうのは僕はもちろん知らなかったですし、彼が借金をしていることもその時そのミーティングの時はもちろん知りませんでした。So up until that team meeting, I didn't know that Ipe had a gambling addiction and was in debt. で僕は彼の借金返済にももちろん同意その時も同意してませんし、物件会に対して彼に送金をしてくれと頼んだことももちろん、許可したことももちろんないです。And at that, obviously at that point, or I, and obviously I did not, never agreed to pay off the debt or you know, make payments to the bookmaker. で、まあ、その後試合後、ホテルに戻って、一平さんと初めてそこで話をして、彼に巨額の借金があることをその時知りました。And finally, when we went back to the hotel and talked one to one, that was when I was、uh, when I found out that he had a massive、uh, debt. で彼はその時私に、えー、僕の口座を勝手に僕の口座に勝手にアクセスしてブックメーカーに送信あ送金していたということを僕に伝えました。And it was revealed to me during that meeting that he Ipe admitted that he was sending money、uh, using my account to the bookmaker. でまあ、僕はやっぱりおかしい、これはおかしいなと思って、えー、代理人にと話したいということで、代理人たちを呼んで、そこで話し合いました。And at that moment, obviously, I was, it was an absurd thing that was happening, and I've contacted my representatives at that point. でも話し終わって、これを聞いて、僕の代理人もやっぱり彼に嘘をつかれていたということを、えー、初めて知って、えー、すぐにドジャースの皆さんと、えー、弁護士の人たちにその時に連絡しました。So, when, my, when I was finally able to talk to my representatives, that's when my representatives found out that Ipe has been lying the whole time. And that's when I started contacting the Dodgers and my lawyers. で、まあ、そのドジャースの皆さんも、えー、代理の人たちも、その彼らもその時に初めてまた自分たちも嘘をつかれていたということをその時に知りました。And the Dodgers and the lawyers at that moment found out also as well that they have been lied to. そして僕が弁護士の人たちはこれは窃盗と詐欺のことなのでこれを警察の当局に引き渡すという報告をその時にしました。My lawyers recommended that you know since this is a theft and fraud that that we have the proper authorities handle this matter。まあこれがそこまでの流れなので僕はもちろんスポーツ賭博にはもちろん関与していないですしブックメーカーにさっきも言いましたけど送金をしていたという事実は全くありません。So, you know, in conclusion, I do want to make it clear that I never bet on sports or have willfully、uh, sent money、uh, to the bookmaker. まあ正直あのショックというまあ言葉がまあ正しいとは思わないですし、えー、まあそれ以上のこううんうまく言葉では表せないような、えー、感覚でこの一週間ぐらいは。ずっと過ごしてきたので、今はそれをまあ言葉にするのは難しいなという思っています。You know, to summarize how I'm feeling right now, I'm just beyond shocked. It's really hard to、uh, verbalize how I am feeling at this point. まあただもうシーズンも本格的にスタートするので、えー、ここからは弁護士の、えー、方々にもお任せしますし、僕自身も、えー、警察当局の。協力に全面的に協力したいなと思っています。今日の今日の今日の今日の今日の今日の今日の今日の今日の今日の今日の今日の今日これが今お話しできるすべてなので質疑応答はしませんがこれからさらに進んでいくと思います。You know, I'm looking forward to focusing on the season. I'm, I'm glad that we had this opportunity to talk.、Uh, 
um, and I'm sure there will be uh, continuing investigations moving forward. Thank you very much. All right, you've been listening to a press conference there. You heard of Dodger star Shohei Otani pretty much acknowledging the fact that he is shocked. He, uh, it's hard to verbalize how he's feeling at this moment about what has been going on, saying that he never willfully gave money, sent money to that, uh, that bookkeeper, yeah. that it was, in fact, Ipe who was getting money from his account and sending that money to that bookkeeper. Certainly didn't mince words. He said that Ipe has been stealing money from his account and there have been he's been telling lies outright. So let's get to uh, sports agents. Lee Steinberg. Uh, Mr. Steinberg, are you there with us? Yes. You just heard the statement here. We're hearing this was Otani's idea. Did he need to address this issue? And what grade would you give him? I'd give him an A. I thought he was very transparent. If you looked at how he held himself, he didn't seem defensive. He seemed like mildly outraged. And uh, the one dangling question is, how does the money get from Otani's account to the gambler? And I'm assuming that there was power of attorney somehow that allowed the interpreter to transfer funds without Otani's knowledge. So at worst case, he comes off as someone who shouldn't have signed power of attorney or somehow was duped or, or defrauded. But he avoids all of the uh, places in which Major League Baseball would have a concern that money went to an offline better, that he loan money, gift tax implications. Uh, this was a fairly thorough explanation of a timeline that clears up what had been a whole series of dangling questions. You know, and, and Lee, we want to say that this appeared to be a prepared statement. We clearly saw him hand, using this document there. Not a traditional press conference with Q&A since he hasn't been charged with anything Yet, he came out with a pretty detailed account and timeline of what has apparently gone down. Are you surprised at all by the length and content of his statement? I thought that he was well prepared. They knew and understood that there was a murkiness, a complete lack of, of facts uh, in the situation. So much of it just did not make any sense. This is the player on his way to becoming the best known athlete in the world. And he had a number of years down with the Angels where there wasn't the slightest question as to his integrity, honesty, uh, any action he made. So this is pretty consistent with the Otani that we've known. And there's fact checking that will go on with all of this. But According to his assertion, he knew nothing until after the first game. He was surprised by it. And um, then you just have to question how the money got out of an account of his to the gambler. And I assume there's a concept called power of attorney where a person holding a bank account can grant another person direct access so they can write checks and everything else. And I assume that's what happened here. Well, before uh, this afternoon's information dump here from Shohei Otani, the MLB initially said they wouldn't launch an investigation, but a day later said it would. What does that indicate to you overall? Well, I think they'll be swayed by what we just saw. Mm. And uh, again, his areas of liability were if he bet on baseball, which he didn't, um, if money was transferred to a non-authorized better, which which did happen, but it appears he had no knowledge of it. So again, the worry was that this would somehow taint his reputation, push advertisers away, uh, reveal a, a whole Dr. Jekyll, Mr. Hyde side of him. None of that after this statement should be a question. You know, Lee, he made he made reference to the season. It's about to start, and now he just wants to allow his lawyers to take over that. What do you think the season is going to look like for Shohei Otani and the Dodgers? 
Um, having represented athletes for 50 years, I can tell you that their refuge and escape from off the field issues is playing. And so he will throw himself, compartmentalize and throw himself into the season just as if this hadn't happened. And I think he was credible to the point where um, all the questions I've had for a week um, he answered. Now, they're going to have to be fact-checked, but if, if what he said was true, then, as I said, it only leaves one question. How did the money get from A to B? And there's no way that a, a bank would allow uh, someone to take four and a half million dollars out of someone else's money if he wasn't authorized. Now, the representations that that the interpreter made to the better, I highly doubt that the better would have extended four and a half million dollars to uh, someone who makes a hundred thousand uh, dollars unless he was making representations to the better that uh, he that uh, Shohei knew about this and authorized this. But if that's a lie, then it makes no difference. There's still so many questions out yeah. there, Lee. Lee Steinberg, we appreciate your time here this afternoon. Thanks for being with us. My pleasure. All right. And again, we've been. The NBC4 News at 3 starts with breaking news. Again, we've been following you, following this press conference, uh, following Shohei Otani's press conference in response to the illegal gambling investigation involving his former interpreter. Good afternoon, everyone, and thank you for joining us at 3. I'm Annabelle Sedano. And I'm Michael Brownlee. If you're just joining us, here's a portion of Otani's prepared statement that he read just a little while ago. We're going to get that as soon as we get to uh, NBC4's Olivia Garvey. Olivia, are you with us? Hi, yes, good afternoon to the both of you. Olivia, can you tell us? Uh, yeah, it was it was upsetting. It was shocking. There were two stories coming into today. And of course, as I said yesterday, there are only a few people that really know what happened. And that's Otani. He wanted to come out here and talk to the media today. And that's exactly what he did. He did say that Ipe was stealing money from him and lying. And that was one of the stories. And he just confirmed that. It's upsetting. I, I'm going to read a couple of the things that he said on a personal note. I am saddened and shocked that someone has done this to me. This has been the guy that has been by his side for for years on the baseball field, off the baseball field. It's his best friend, and it is so sad at the fact that he had no idea that this guy, his best friend, his right-hand man, was stealing money and lying to him. Um, I, 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 Like I said, there have been two stories coming into this that Otani gave him the money, but obviously that is not what happened. You can tell that Otani was shocked and saddened. You don't see him like that very often. This is a guy that has the mentality to just be happy, to play baseball, to love what he does. And we've seen that as he has become a Dodger, and we did not see that today. We saw a guy that is in distress. He's sad about what happened. He lost his best friend. And he only found out about this in Korea when Ipe told the players and and himself that this was going on and he said it he said I didn't understand what he was saying in the clubhouse he was saying it in English and then uh, they both spoke one-on-one -on -one in Korea at the hotel and that is where he found out that his best friend was lying and stealing money from him to cover up his gambling debts and he also and I want to make this clear Otani said that he does not gamble on sports he has never asked anyone to gamble on sports and that has been a big thing too that has been circling on social media of course you can't believe it until it comes out of Otani's mouth, but he said he does not gamble on sports. He has never asked anybody to, and that's big for people to understand. I think he really wanted people to know that he does not do that. He has never done that, and he's just playing baseball. That's what he wants to focus on right now, and uh, hopefully he can do so. I like what Lee said. You know, off the field issues with the Dodgers, they're able to push that aside when they start playing baseball on the field, and they'll do that tonight. They'll do that tomorrow, and then they'll start on Thursday at the home win opener and get ready for a 160 game season. They'll try to to push this aside, not just Otani, but this entire team will look to not focus on Ipe and what he's done to Otani, but just play baseball, have a great year, and uh, hopefully win a World Series in 2024.
All right, Olivia Garvey there live for us. Uh, and again, Otani mentioning that uh, he has acknowledged this was a very tough week for fans and the organization. Yeah, and, it's, and as Olivia mentioned, he did want to reiterate the fact that he has never bet on baseball or any, any other, other sport. sport. And as we know, it's illegal to do so here in California. Now let's toss things over to NBC Force Nicola Medina with more on the MLB's investigation into the theft allegations. Well, you can bet that wealth of information that Otani just shared with us uh, will no doubt be the focus of the investigation for these three investigators that will be leading the Major League Baseball investigation. Uh, they will also be talking very closely to the interpreter as well as the Dodgers and the Angels to see if there are any red flags that were missed. These are folks that are well versed in, in a lot of these internal probes and uh, stuff like this is going to be pretty much second nature to them. Brian Baxter with Bloomberg News says the three investigators, Brian Seeley, Moira Weinberg, and Marquise Meeks, have a long history of unraveling some of the league's biggest scandals. They've done work for uh, the Astro sign stealing probe, uh, another inquiry into the Atlanta Braves and former executives about overpaying uh, international players. Now the focus will be on exactly what Shohei Otani knew and when about his reported $4.5 million wire transfer to Southern California bookmaker Matthew Boyer. Otani's former interpreter Ipe Mizohara said last week he used the money from Otani to pay his own gambling debts. Boyer's attorney confirmed Mizohara was his contact. Mr. Boyer never met Shohei Otani never spoke with Shohei Otani. The only person he dealt with was Ipe. The trio of investigators will work to confirm what extent Otani was involved, if at all. We reached out to Otani's agent and lawyers today for comment, but have not heard back. Baxter does believe that the MLB investigation will be asking some hard questions, not just of Otani, but the Dodgers and the Angels. He's got the richest contract for a North American sports player in history. Uh, there's going to be some questions as to, you know, what did the Dodgers know and when about all this stuff? Uh, or were they really just, you know, caught on the until last week? Yeah, and including uh, with this emphatic denial from Otani that he had no knowledge of the betting whatsoever, and he does feel like he was robbed by his uh, former translator and friend, uh, the investigators will still be taking a very close look at all of those, inf uh, all that information coming for Otani, and also a close look at exactly how the Dodgers and the Angels uh, missed some red flags, like the fact that there are some inconsistencies in his interpreter's uh, resume before he was hired on by the Angels and then the Dodgers. That'll be something to look closely at. The time of length in this investigation could vary from a few weeks to a few months, depending on exactly uh, who's cooperating and who's not, according to uh, the Bloomberg reporter we talked to. But certainly it'll, some, it'll be something a lot of folks, including Shohei, and of course all these Dodger fans will be waiting to hear exactly what they came up with. Live in Dodger Stadium, I'm McConnell with you on NBC4 News. All right, Mac, thank you. And today, as you know, was the first time we heard from Shohei Otani speaking uh, on these allegations here. We are continuing to work on the responses from the team and, of course, fans to stick with us on air and online. For the latest developments, you can go to, uh, to download our NBCLA app. Now to our other top story today. A federal raid is happening right now at a home connected to Sean P. Diddy Combs. News Chopper 4 is over one of his homes in the Holmby Hills area. A source familiar with the situation tells NBC this is in connection to a probe involving possible sex trafficking and sexual assault. At the same time, across the country, federal agents were also raiding another one of his homes in Miami Beach. It's in an exclusive area known as Star Island. Law enforcement is telling us the agents were authorized to search both of the properties by warrants issued in a Manhattan federal court. And we have a photographer there on the ground outside of the home right now. As you can see, a very active scene. Again, this is a shot here from News Chopper 4. We want to bring in NBC4's Gordon Sukumas, who just arrived on scene. Gordon, what are you seeing? Well, active scene is the way to describe it, Michael, for sure. This has still been ongoing for a couple of hours here now, and there's quite a scene both at the house itself from what you saw from the aerials, but also down the street. There's a huge collection of people, not just media, but also uh, fans stopping by. Take a look at the police that are uh, the police vehicles that are assembled right here along the road leading up to this mansion that is owned by Sean Combs, also known as P. Diddy. Now, this is what we're hearing from NBC investigations, uh, quoting four law enforcement sources familiar now with 
uh, NBC News uh, federal agents. They said that federal agents have executed search warrants at the L.A. and Miami properties belonging to Sean Combs. The sources said the warrant is out of the Southern District of New York. Now, we don't have any exact uh, details about what this was all about. It's not clear yet if it's been filed in federal court, but uh, as we uh, 